what's up guys welcome to the momentum trading lab my name is Renier. i'm a professional funded trader and in today's video i'm going to share with you my personal ict trading checklist which you can download for free in our discord server all right so let's get into it so you can customize this trading journal according to your needs and i'll show you in this video how you can do this so first of all you will have to go to notion and create a notion account and then you can navigate over to our discord server and go to the momentum trading lab school and it will be this one right at the bottom the trading journal you click on the link and then you can save it to your personal notion account okay so let's have a look at what i have going on right here so you can choose the asset that you want to trade and you can customize this by right clicking on the asset edit property and then you can add more let's say you trade oil then you can add cl and you can click on it and give it a different color you can add your different accounts so on mine i have the daily bias so you can choose between bullish or bearish and then i have the point of interest so i have two so one is dedicated for the different liquidity pools that i look at and again you can customize this and add or remove things so i have the previous months high or low previous weeks high or low previous days high or low then the different swing high or lows for the higher term time frame so i have the four hour one hour monthly weekly daily then the different session based liquidity pools the new york pm high or low new york am high or low the london high or low the new york lunch high or low the asia high or low and then i've just been adding things um so i have the 15 minute relative equal lows or the high or and low before 8 30 a.m this is something from the ict 2022 mentorship then we have the market structure shift displacement plus fair value gap kill zone is it below or above the opening price it must be at least a two to one risk to reward ratio and then the pdra that i used for entry so there's a bunch in here you can add um you can add if i missed anything so i have volume imbalances fair value gap breaker block inversion fair value gap balanced price range ote order block rejection block turtle soup or mitigation block the amount of contracts that you went into and then you can say the amount of profit that you made so if you made a loss then it will automatically go to red and if it was break even it will go to yellow okay and then i added this for myself so like profit discipline stop loss discipline so was i disciplined during the trade i didn't fiddle with my tp or my um stop loss so then i mark those as yes so you can see i've been uh, mostly been disciplined with my take profit and my stop loss so once i put it there i'm committed to the trade and i let it play out and then you can add your charts in here so you just click on this then you can either add an image i like using the trading view links so you click on the little camera icon copy link and then you can say add file or image and if you use the link you say embed link and then you just copy it in there and you say link and then your chart will be saved forever in your trading journal and then there's different notes so 2022 ict how to trade the open play look at the high and low that formed um, at 8 30 or just before 8 30 so that is one of my points of point of interest um in the liquidity um column so how do i use this so i actually fill this in as the trade or as the setup is forming so let's go to the bottom we are going to say new it's going to add a new a new entry at the top so the asset that i'm going to trade is the nasdaq nq i'm going to trade it on my master account on bulanox okay, on this particular day we were bullish so now we go to the chart okay so the open was right here at 9 30 right so we would have potentially been looking at these relative equal lows and this fair value gap on the 15 minute so this would have been my point of interest the sell side liquidity below the relative equal lows as well as the fair value gap on the 15 minute time frame so now we can go to our journal we can fill that in so the liquidity is the relative equal lows on the 15 minute 
and there's also a 15 minute fair value gap so just for all of these abbreviations the ote is optimal trade entry bpr is balanced price range brk is a breaker block ob is order block fvg is fair value gap and i think that is most of them and then there's also ifvg which is a uh, inversion fair value gap okay so now we have our points of interest filled in and now we just let the trade play out so at the open it dipped into our point of interest then we got the market structure shift with displacement right so we can pull that in market structure shift plus displacement with the fair value gap it's in our kill zone it came below the opening price so it did the manipulation is it at least a two to one risk to reward ratio so from our entry let's say we enter in that fair value gap right there this is actually also a balanced price range you can make that one a different color let's make it green and then we also had the breaker block right there so the up close candle between these two lows you have a low and a lower low then price moved up so that is a breaker block so we have three different pd arrays and then for our take profit so this was the nasdaq going into new all-time highs so for this situation i like to use my fibonacci tool so you pull your fib from the low to the high and then my first dp would have been this first extension the negative 27 it also aligns exactly with that high right there and then the next one would have been the 618 and the one which is one um, standard deviation or one symmetrical swing of this initial impulse move so let's get our long tool so if we entered in the fair value gap we can either put our stop loss at this low or if we look at this fair value gap this was the first candle right so we can put our stop right there and then to measure my right there and then to the 618 that is more than a 2 to 1 it's 2.3 so this is a valid setup for me and then the entry would have been the let's say the fair value gap and then you can enter the amount that you went in with let's say it was three and you made this is just a hypothetical and if you stuck to your plan regarding your tp and your discipline or your stop loss rather and you can put in your chart here as well you know your chart is saved your journal is filled in um, you can put any additional notes in here anything else um, how you felt during the trade anything that you need to review um, any important notes you can just fill them in there all right so i hope you guys found this video helpful tool has really helped doing the journaling a lot um, easier and simpler for me so i keep this open on a dedicated monitor while i am trading and as the setup progresses i will fill this in until i eventually enter the trade and then afterwards i will um, put in all of the different charts when i entered where i exit and then any additional notes will just get filled in right here all right i hope you found this video helpful if you did please remember to hit that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one